Hello everyone, uh, today we're going to be creating a shader for the Pokeball, uh, the Safari Pokeball. And um, this one is going to be a very short uh, video tutorial. We're going to be using the same Pokeball that we did in the first tutorial for a lot of, a lot of other tutorials. So um, let's get started. So tap on your shader mode. You can always go into shading by clicking the, if you're in the layout and you just want to change your layout, you can just click on the little clock or wherever you see the corner icons and go into shady, uh, shader editor, but we're just going to go into the mode. This is the shader that we have for our original Pokeball and okay. So. What do we know about the Safari Pokeball is that it looks like a camouflage and uh, we're going to try to replicate something like this. Okay. Cool. Um, all right. The first thing that you need is going to be a color ramp. We're going to go into convert color ramp. We're going to change from linear to constant. Move that here. We're going to connect it. It's going to make it black and white. Then uh, we're going to attach a noise texture to it. Okay, as you can see, we're already um, very close to our result. It's going to get tricky in just a sec. Let's set this to 3.7. You can set this to whatever you want. 1.5. And just a little bit of distortion. I'm going to say point four we might change those settings later okay now that we have that we need our color we're gonna click uh, shifty to duplicate and let me move this up all right just zoom in by scrolling and let's make our shader Let's connect this here and we're going to come back to this in a few. Let's change the dark color or the black color. Um, I have a code uh, that I already made uh, for this color, for this brown. We're going to do the brown first. It's going to be 6F 4A 1D. Okay, we got a nice brown. And then for a lighter brown, I have here C to 8, A, 4, A. You can change these colors to however you want. I'm just pretty much showing off a bit of that technique. And let's randomize this, let's kill it to. 4.6 okay perfect and um, okay and then again we are going to duplicate this shift T and set, oops, let's set our greens. For the dark green, let's change, change, change it over here. It's going to be 2, 4, 5, 2, zero, 0, and the light. C 
uh, 6, C, 8, 9, 5, 4. Okay. Perfect. Actually, instead of uh, noise, we're going to be using the Musgrave. It's going to give us a better result than the ones that we have here. So let's go into texture. Uh, Musgrave texture. If I'm pronouncing that right, let me know. Let's delete this. Duplicate it. You delete it by pressing uh, X. Okay. And then 4 1.4, 3.8, and 2, that's fine. And just so you guys can see the result, that's what we have. And we're going to move the slider almost all the way down. And let's go back to doing the same thing for the green. And the green, we're going to leave it at 5. We're going to change the second section to two, uh, 1.2, the detail. The dimension not two, everything the same, but the slider moving it again pretty much almost all the way. Awesome. All right. So you might be wondering why do we have the black and white if we have the color versions right here? The black and white is going to be used to cut sections of each. Um, color variation and putting it back together. Okay, and we're going to do that with our um, so add color mix RGB and we need three of those. Now this section for now and we need to connect the black and white to each one. Okay. This is going to be our final connection. All right. And when I say it, this to lighten all the way and for the second color I'm gonna pick this one and then this color we're gonna attach it to the first one uh, as you can see we're starting to um, to see but just so it could be more clear that's what's happening so the black section of this um, gradient or color ramp, the black section is showing off this color ramp. Now we need to add this color on the white side. And for that, we're going to change this one to multiply. All right, multiply pretty much what it does is anything that is white and we're using this again because this is being connected for the first color and we're going to set that to one is that it's taking everything that is white uh, is going to be taken out uh, from this and then this one from lighten everything that is dark or black is going to be taken out and showing what is white so um, yeah that is pretty much the premises of it so this is removing the black this is removing the white and then we mix it all together and here 
and for our second color we're gonna put it here and let's connect it okay now for our factor uh instead of overlapping these two colors we're gonna go back to using our ramp as the factor as a black and white map and there we go as you can see let's see will it make a difference so we change to black and white here no same thing um yeah we already have a pretty cool safari uh pokeball which you can edit so let's scale this over here Kind of like the effects that the Musgrave caves gives. So we're gonna do Shift D and let's try that. <clears throat> Sorry about that. Let's see. There we go. Yeah, I kind of like that better, actually. All right, guys, you guys could play with the colors and see how it looks uh, for you. But this is our camouflage Pokeball or the Safari Pokeball. I hope you guys like uh, this tutorial and um, I'm trying to upload them as fast as I can. Um, please watch the previous two others and let me know what you think. Thank you.